President Moon Jae-in has uh, proposed closer economic ties with Russia and Eurasia dubbed the new northern policy during his visit to Vladivostok last September. And just this morning, the first meeting to work out the details of that policy took place in Seoul. Kim Hesong reports. The first meeting on the Presidential Committee on Northern Economic Cooperation kicked off Thursday. It comes three months after the committee was established in August with the goal of boosting economic ties between South Korea and the Eurasia region. I'm more than delighted to launch the first meeting, the new northern policy as announced by President Moon at the Eastern Economic Forum last September. It's expected to help create a new growth engine in South Korea and is critical in lowering tensions and fostering co-prosperity in Northeast Asia. On top of ministers from the Finance, Foreign Affairs, Unification and Trade Ministries, two dozen experts from academia and research institutes will help outline mid- to long-term goals and detailed plans of the new northern policy. The key for the first meeting was Russia. Experts discussed ways to boost exchanges between South Korea and Russia through nine key areas, or the so-called nine bridges, including power, natural gas, railroads, shipbuilding, agriculture, among other areas. The goal is to develop closer ties with Eurasian countries through economic exchanges by combining Eurasia's huge natural resources with Korea's know-how in infrastructure building. Mega projects like the Trans-Siberian Railway won't be easy given the tensions due to North Korea and sanctions on Russia, but the committee says step-by-step -step cooperation starting with agriculture and natural gas and easing customs regulations will help lay the basis for long-term projects. The committee is set to hold meetings every quarter. The second meeting will be held next spring, where some 30 experts will come up with a more detailed policy on Mongolia, China and other Eurasian countries. Kim Hye-sung, Arirang News.